Hello, Richard. You all right, mate? How best? Sam, you? Not too shabby. How's your life? How's your bank holiday weekend? Uh, busy, decorating again. Oh, yeah, you did tell us, actually, yeah. Yeah, still doing decorating. We've got a little bit more to do, but... The end is nigh. Mm, possibly. <laughs> How do you feel, Richard, because of the temporary internet issue and me needing to be close to the Wi-Fi? Do you like me being uh, set up in your little office? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> On a lighter note, though, my missus has made some cake. Ooh! So we can have a bit of cake after, if you like. Let's have a look at that. Fudging hell, look at that cake. This isn't just any old fudge cake. This is Richard's fantastically fabulous favourite fudge cake. Richard, putting the fudge back into fudge cake. These are my scraps I can have. Yeah. Okay. I'll have a little bit of this. Well, Richard, I can see... What are you looking at? <laughs> You're licking your lips looking down there, then. <laughs> I'm trying to get the chocolate off, isn't it? Well, Richard, I can see... What are you looking at? I can see another taste testing challenge coming on, this time with cups of tea. Cups of tea? Well, yeah. we best make some mugs to put them in. That's very true. Well, let's cut to mug making scene. Let's cut to mug matey. <laughs> that chocolate cake's gone straight to your brain, eh? <laughs> I've just realised I don't have any tea. So before we cut to the mug making scene, we've got to cut to the suddenly report a load of tea scene. Okay, here's the lineup of the culprits for the tea challenge. We've got Tet the original, we've thrown instant tea into the mix, Taifu, Aldi's own for the cheapy, and some PG tips, and of course, some milk. So let's crack on now with making the mugs. Okay, guys, so we need to. Uh have the logos for the mugs so as you can see what tea is in which cup and as you can see we've got Aldi, we've got PG Tips, we've got Tetley, we've got Taifu and then we've got the Taifu Instant Tea as well. Okay so we've got all our logos ready to print out but we don't want to waste paper by printing one logo out on one piece. We're going to fit them all onto this A4 sheet so we've created an A4 document and we just drag and drop onto there. There's that one, there's that one, just move them up, and there's the last one, move that down. So now you can see we've got all our mug templates, our three mug templates with all of our logos onto one A4 sheet. That saves us wasting paper. Okay, so now we've printed off our logos, just a quick equipment check to make sure we've got everything we need to print our mugs. So that's our mugs, in our case we've got five. We've got our print off, which you can see all the colours are really bright there, but they will be even more bright once they're onto the mugs. Scissors for cutting the paper. Heat tape, very important. Do not use any normal tape, it's got to be heat tape. And some tweezers, just for taking off the paper afterwards because it's going to be hot. Okay, so we're ready to get our logos put on our mugs and ready for them to be going in the mug press. Okay, so let's just chuck down our logos ready to put on our five individual mugs. But obviously, if Aldi want to sponsor us, you can. And there's our logos ready to go on the mugs. So as you can see, the mug is black. These are magic mugs, but they print exactly the same as every other mug. So the magic bit of these mugs is that they are thermoreactive. Basically, once you pour hot water or hot liquid into them, they slowly reveal the image that's printed on it. So that's what makes them magic, and I think they're really cool. Boom. Five mugs ready to go into the mug press, Richard. Absolutely. Let's, let's crack on. Get it done. Let's heat that bad girl up. Yes, let's get it fired up. So remember, only fire up your mug press when you've got a mug in it. We'll put the first one in and we'll get it set up to temperature. You just having a quick wash, are you, Rich, whilst you're here? No, that's for dipping the mugs in afterwards. Okay, so basically we've got the water there. 
just so as when it comes out of the press it goes into the water and it's quenched like you do with steel so it fixes the uh, image into place so you don't get any shadowing or movement of the image once again because we've got five mugs to make and nobody wants to watch this countdown here we're back with the power of video editing and here we have five ready to go mugs all logoed up so richard are you ready for the challenge of your life i'm ready okay right richard's going to blindfold himself so he doesn't even see which of the tea bags go into which cup I can't see these on the camera but i'm aware of which order which tea bag goes into so let's start putting the tea bags in and getting the kettle boiled for the dun 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 Start a print tea tasting challenge 2023. Are you ready, Richard? I'm ready. Okay, so don't move forward to the hot boiling kettle there. So let's add each of these tea bags to each of these mugs. <laughs> Richard, the magic mugs are slowly revealing each of the answers. So we're nearly done, Richard. We're just waiting on the milk. Bit of a spillage. I'm not a tea connoisseur, so how I've made these and the milk amounts, etc. They look pretty good to me, if I'm honest. Just before we start, did you tell me previously you had a favourite? Yes, PG tips. PG tips, right. Okay, Richard, they are extremely hot, so sip at your own caution. Yeah, I've cool before. Watch you don't reveal those logos, Richard. Now you don't have to give your answers straight away. Just taste all of them and then make a decision. Ooh, ho, ho. Richard, spin that cup round, please. Challenge a little bit too much. You know what? Apart from that one, yeah, they all taste pretty much the same. Ooh. So before you give us your answers, can you tell me which ones you enjoyed the most to which ones you didn't enjoy the most? Or, just, or to which one you enjoyed the least? Uh, I think that one is probably the one I enjoyed the least. Okay. And any others? Let's give them another taste. Yeah, I think that's the instant one. It's either that one or that one's the instant one. Okay. I think that's the Aldi one. I think one of those two is PG Tips or Tetley's. I think that one's PG Tips and that one's Tetley's. Right, okay. So, Richard, would you like to, starting from my left to my right, being one to five, would you like to write your answers down? Write my answers down. That's one. Yep, yeah, that's number one. So I'll do one, two, Three, four, five. That one's the typhoon. Okay. So I'll say number one is typhoon. Number two, I think, is the instant. And number three, I think, is the PG tips. Yeah, I think three is PG. Four, I think, in Aldi, and Tetley number five. So, you've got your answers ready, Richard? That's my answers. Okay, so, although this is slightly odd on the camera, that's one to five. 
Would you like to spin around and reveal each of the mugs? This is number one. Number one is Tetley. Wow. Two. Yeah, that's the instant. Correct. Oh. Number three is the PG. He knows his PG tips. Number four. Correct. Aldi. Yep. Yeah. And number five, Typhoon. So you only got five and one mixed up. Yeah. What we can safely say from this video today is that Richard certainly knows his tea over his burgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that we can take from this is how well sublimation works on these magic mugs. As you can see, they've come out beautifully. Well, Richard, thank you for the video as always. We've made some cracking mugs here. They're starting to cool down now, so the, uh, they've come out really well. I hope everyone enjoyed this challenge. I know Richard certainly did, and I'm pretty sure he'll polish all those off. <laughs> and Richard, because nobody here drinks tea, you've got loads of that to take home. Two thumbs fresh. Wow. All of this tea. All the tea I can drink. Because I can't stand it. <laughs> For me, it's PG all the way. Thank you for the sponsorship, PG. So please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.